We've been hanging out here for a couple, two or three hours now, just getting ready to have meal number two. <laughs> this time I'm going to use my uh, tree shelf I got from Hammock Farms member, Clausinator. He makes these, he invented it, came up with the idea, and he has these for sale. He's got a website. There's going to be a link down below. You can check it out. They weigh just about nine ounces. And as you can see, there's plenty of room on this thing to use it. In the event that you didn't have a shelter or a picnic table like we do, that's when I really find that I enjoy using this and bringing it along. The design is, is, is great. It goes around the tree with a prussic knot. You can, you can put it on any size tree you want. There's plenty of cable here that you can lengthen it out. And uh, weighs about nine ounces. And it's a great piece of equipment. It's handy. It's, uh, it's a comfort item, without a doubt. I personally don't like being way down here. I like being up here. So, Mike did a nice job with this. The one thing I'd recommend is to go ahead and get some type of a piece of cloth. This is just a black spot of carbon felt that I cut out to prevent the heat from sinking down into the tray, into the tree shelf, um, the shelf part of it. Without it, you will notice that it'll go down. But it's definitely uh, a comfort item to bring along at, at nine ounces. It doesn't bother me to bring it whatsoever. It comes in a nice little stuff sack and, uh, and Kloss has got uh, a great website and, uh, and a video that explains and shows all the use of it. Personally, I like it. You know, I, I asked for it for a Christmas gift, got it for a Christmas gift. Whoopsie, my old hiking buddy Whoopsie's got one. We used that on the Northville Placid Trail trip, the first one I did this year. I like it. Good job, Mike. I appreciate you uh, coming up with this idea and then selling it to the rest of us that can't come up with good ideas like this. Thanks, brother. All right, not going to lie to you guys. Uh, the butter and herb garlic uh, pasta side with the uh, pink salmon is a winner. Woo! Good Lord Almighty, is that good? My gosh. Uh, little trick to when I did it though, stumbling around through it. So I heated up just a cup and a half of water. It called for two cups. Put it in there, let it sit for 10 minutes. It was runny, it wasn't looking good. I dumped all the liquid back out into a, my cook pot, put it back onto the heat on my alcohol stove. Within two minutes, it thickened up and it started to bubble. I put it back in, let it sit for five more minutes and mixed it around. Come here and take a look at this. It's nice and thick. It's very flavorful. It's really good. Uh, it's a winner, I'd do it again. <laughs> the next time though, I'd use the rice, same flavor, garlic and herb or butter and herb, but I'd use the rice instead of the noodles because the noodles are a little bit gummy, but man, is that ever good. I turned my back for one second and uh, the gorilla came over and took a bite. Can't Gotta see, try it. Can't it's see, good. you're in a smoke storm. <laughs> Come out of the smoke, boy. It's good. <laughs> Chris is starting to, we're afraid that the mosquitoes are going to get us, so we're starting to fire. All right, dinner time. We're just sitting here in the shelter. It's raining. Fire's going. Chris is thinking about making some muffins. It's sitting about miles. It's about eating. This is about eating. <laughs> There's even a big old cast iron pan right here. Not every trip's the same, is it, Chris? No. Last trip we did some miles. This trip, me doing some calories. <laughs> We'll have to do some miles tomorrow. We'll have to do some miles tomorrow. 
Gorilla, what are you doing? Making the muffins. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? I'm His name is Grey Gorilla. <laughs> Alright. We got fire. We got a tripod. And we got muffins. And I'm liking it with a muffin man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is that my new trail name? I think it is your new trail name. Oh my god. Alright, that's better than some of them, I guess. Muffin man, what kind of pan do you use for your muffins? A little pan. Why a little pan, muffin man? Because they cook better. So, uh, what temperature are you running your muffins at right now, muffin man? 325. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Backwoods Country Cooking. Today we have a special we have a special guest. We've got the Muffin Man. Muffin Man, tell us what you're gonna make for us. Veal uh, Parmesan. <laughs> oh wait, blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin. Is that your specialty, Muffin Man? The blueberry volcano. <laughs> muffin man, your muffins are dripping. I know I got the pot too full. <laughs> when they stop dripping, does that mean they're done? <laughs> yeah. Too much batter in your bucket. <laughs> <laughs> On this edition of Backyard Country Cooking, the muffin man put too much batter in the pot. Would you recommend that, muffin man? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> it's a muffin. That looks good, man. You hungry? That looks really good. That's hot. I think it's got to cool down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a blueberry souffle. <laughs> Daddy Long Legs, about the size of Texas, right there. That's a muffin. I can't believe wow, it's still Wow, I can't believe that water's me. still left. That looks wicked good, man. I hope the middle's done, but. That's strong work by you. He's got his cocoa, he's got his muffin. He's a happy boy. All right, leave me alone. Let me eat it. Tastes kind of like sock for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, I got to admit when I'm wrong. The, the boy knows how to cook a muffin. That thing's delicious. My great goodness, good golly almighty, it's fantastic. It's moist. It's done perfectly. Muffin man, good job. Thank you, sir. Time for some dessert. Apple crisp. With some granola. Mmm. That's good. Hey there, good morning everybody. What a great night. Sleep last night out here. I think we're just about in a food coma. I don't know how much food we ate, but we ate a lot of food, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Man, it was nice to sleep another night in my Wilderness Logic snipe last night. Ooh, man, I love this hammock. This is one of those cheese danishes that for about a dollar and 19 cents you get a pack of eight of them. <laughs> I 
I like them. It's a beautiful morning! <laughs> the birds didn't like that. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm looking at over here. Life is good. All right, we're gonna take a run up here, see if we can't talk the gorilla into, from now on, making coffee and delivering it to me. Let's go. Boy, we're gonna come up here and uh, check your rig out. So, uh, I was thinking of an idea that would be kind of nice. I'm, I'm 10 years older than you, right? And I know you're you know, a respectful guy and you know respect elders and those types of things. I was kind of thinking that uh, it'd be nice, and you'll appreciate this someday, if you hike with somebody younger than you, that uh, it'd be nice if you could make the coffee and just deliver it to me so I wouldn't have to get up out of bed. You gotta put your order in ahead of time. Is that a yes or a no? Or are you uncommitted? Sure, I'd do that for you, Rob. This worked out pretty well. So, all right, this is how I tear down my my hammock setup in the morning. First thing I do is take my top quilt and under quilt, put them away in my pack. When I go around and pull all my stakes. It rained last night, so I already wiped everything down. I'm just gonna slide the snake skins over. Just unhook your ridge line and roll it up. Now goes the hammock. And that's it. That's how I put away my cam. Works for me. May not work for you. Try it out. 9.25 in the morning. What, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6 miles out, something like that. Not very long. Different kind of hike this was. It was fun. Ate a bunch of food. Burned a bunch of wood, hung out, stayed up late, visiting, just talking about different stuff. Time to beat feet, hit the road. We're going to be able to try to hopefully film a little bit of this stuff on the way out for you guys. It was raining. We didn't get a whole bunch of shots on the way in. So we're going to leave. This is uh, leaving Paradise 2008 behind. <laughs>